Hi, my name is Avery, and welcome to the third episode of my game development tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be covering over how to create an object, and then set an image to the object, and then to draw it onto the screen. So the first thing we want to do is, from leading off from the last uh, video, is creating two new files. And the first file is going to be the object header file, and the second file will be the object class, not our CPP file. So we're going to go ahead and create the class in the header file. So if it's def needs if it's not defined, um, then we will define it. And then we need to end it down here. End object .h. So the object class it is going to store a few variables that are SDL variables. So the first one that I'll be storing is a rectangle and the rectangle will be the destination for it to be drawn on the screen. The next one for it to be storing is another rectangle which is the source and the source is um, where what part of the image it is going to be drawing. So you can have a big image with multiple different tiles and it can select which tile you need to draw it. And um, we also need a texture for the, uh, for the object so it's going to be like this texture text and now we'll create our public section I'm going to spell this up here and in the public we'll have let's we'll create an object class but we don't need to do anything with that right now and then we'll create a few getters and setters so we'll have um, sdl rect and get destination And we'll have the same for the other one. And now we'll create setters. So we'll have a set destination. And then we're going to want to include an X, a Y, and a width, and a height for this, the object. And we're going to do the exact same thing again for the source. And then we'll have a void set image. And in here we're going to want to include the file name and we're going to want to include the render. So SDL render rend. Alright, so this is everything we're going to need in this uh, in the header file. So let's go ahead and copy these so we can set them up in the actual object file. So now we're going to include the header and now down here we're going to do everything. Okay, so for this, we're just—it's just pretty simple. It's we're just setting everything. Um, and now this sets all the variables for uh, this object. And now we'll do the exact same thing again for the source uh, rectangle. Okay, and that's everything we need to do for those. So now we need to create the function that takes the loads in the image. So this function is fairly simple. So what we're going to want to do is. Um, create a surface and I'll just call this surf and leave this and now we're going to set this so we're going to load it in with image load and then it, it needs a char so it can't use a string so we're just going to convert this to a string and so it's going to be file name dot c underscore string and that converts it to a string and now we just need to set the texture to the image from the surface. So SDL create texture from surface. And then well, it needs the render and then it needs the surface. Okay, and now that loads in the surface. So going back in here, we need to make sure to include the right headers. So let's go ahead and down here. So you notice I've added this. This is 
the SDL header for the image for SDL, which we install, set up in the very first episode. So I'm going to go ahead and copy all of these and then paste them right in here. So now um, we can go ahead and check for errors. So um, move in the directory. And then, so along with uh, this, we also need to add the SDL image library. Um, so just make sure to add this when compiling, because that compiles it with the image library. So now we're going to check for any errors. All right, um, line nine and okay, object beach nine. Okay, I don't need this. So there's no. Uh, Parentheses. Oh, did I see that? Okay. All right. Let's see what this is. Um, object nine again. Close definition. Okay. You need a semicolon at the very end. All right. And I added an extra parenthesis that needs to be at the very end of that. Okay, and now that is our object class. So we're going to go ahead in the game class and we're going to create a function that draw an object. So draw, and then we need an object. Oh, and then let's create our first object. So we're going to call this object star. Um, and for this, I believe this function will only draw in PNG files. I could be wrong, but I know for sure it does draw PNG files. So for the example, I drew this picture. It's just a star. So we're going to go ahead and draw it in. So now we need to create this draw function. So um, in the game, we're going to do void game draw. And it's going to be object O. So now we need to go ahead and get the destination and the source from the object. Now that we have that, we can render it. So STL render copy X. And then so the first parameter it needs is the render. And the second parameter is the texture. So it's o.get text. And then we're going to need the references of the source and a reference of the destination. And then it needs um, the angle. And we're just going to have it at the regular angle, so we'll set that to zero. And then it needs um, a pointer. Well, SDL pointer. We'll set that to null. And then it, we need to put in this flag, SDL flip none. And that's everything we need for this function. So we're going to go ahead and draw it right here in the render. We're going to do draw and then star. Okay, so now we need to load up the star. So I'll just do that right up here. So star dot set destination, and um, I have to, the size of this star is seventy five by seventy five pixels. So the set destination we'll just do fifty fifty, and then size seventy five seventy five, and then we'll do star set source. And we just do zero zero. So zero and zero is the top left corner. It's right up here, and then it draws all the way down so you get. You need 75 width and 75 down, and then I'll get this whole thing. So, maybe 75, 75. And now we need to load in the image. So, set image. And then the first one will be resources image.png. Oh, no, sorry. This is not a resources file, it's just in the same directory. And then it's going to be the render. So, now we need to compile this. Okay, I need to fix something 60 in game 63. Okay, so there's no member called get text. What did I call that? Okay, I need to just do it right here. So SDL texture um, get text const return text. Okay, here I need to 
do this correctly. Um, so we're seeing an asterisk right here. All right. And now, as you see, it's drawn the star right here. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean by what the destination and the source does. So if I if you change the destination, this is the x and y coordinate. So now we can have it further um, across and further down. And then this is the scale, so we can make it even bigger. So I'll set that to 100, and then we'll set this to 120. So then it's going to be taller than it is wide. And now if we can crop out a section of it if we want, so we can set this to 50, and then I'll crop out like around here of the picture. It should at least, so let's compile that. And now, um, as he is down here, it's much bigger, and it's cropped out the bottom, and it's taller on the way down. So that's basically what the source, um, the destination do. So it's pretty simple. Um, the way the source works is that later we can be able to set up frames, so then when we load in one single image, we can have multiple frames lined up, and then it can switch between them. So it can make it look like your character is animating. So that's enough for today's video. Thanks you guys for watching, and have a great day.